Welcome to another daily race A here. I am the Crazy M80, uh, having some fun here on the Tokyo Expressway South Outer Loop and Group 3 front wheel drive cars. Uh, driving the Peugeot here, starting third. And uh, we're going to have some fun here. So the standing starts always make for a pretty adventurous turn one here. So the goal being to have just a clean turn one. And uh, everybody seems to mind their manners as we go through this one. It's a really good group here. So got a couple of Peugeots along with uh, that Volkswagen Scirocco up front here. Good to see something besides Peugeots and Audi TTs at the front of this field. So just slotting on into third place here. And we're going to take our time and see what we can do to work our way out towards the front. Going through this fast S's here. Uh, looks like I'm bouncing off the barrier just a little bit there. Heading on this hairpin, you got cold tires, you gotta be careful, you gotta brake about 50 meters earlier than you normally would, and I get out of the miners a little late, but we're gonna come out in second here. And I can't really see, ooh, got a pretty good shunt there, I forgot about that. But we're gonna see what happened to the leader here, just uh, showing an example of those cold tires here. Coming in, turns in a little too early, apex is too early, brakes too late, and bunk. And that's how we got into second. So the Volkswagen Scirocco gets out to a pretty good start here. But just in the draft here, while the guys behind us get real dicey, you can see them actually uh, bounce off each other, bounce off the wall. And that allows us to have a not a lot of pressure from behind here. So we're getting caught up in the draft here of the Volkswagen, punching a big hole through the air. See if we can't mount a run on the inside here. Sure enough, pulls to the inside. Does the Volkswagen see us? It's is just ever so tightly but no penalties no harm no foul we're both still pointed straight going in the right direction rubber side down outbreak and going in the chicane here can use up those curbs as much as possible and now the goal being just to uh, not make any mistakes and uh, that Volkswagen is holding on pretty tough I've uh, I don't think I'd be able to hold on that tight in the Volkswagen, honestly. So I, the Peugeot and the TT are the pretty dominant cars when it comes to this here. So you see everybody else goes a little bit wide there. I'm able to hold it tight on the inside of turn one. Sets me up really nice with that first left-hander. Just breathing off the throttle going through the left-hander. is able to stay full throttle through the right-hand corners. Here we are going back down into that uh, the hardest corner on the track or the sharpest corner on the track. Make sure we don't do the same exact thing the other Peugeot did from the lead the last time around. Just a little wide there. VW pulls on the inside, but we're able to get a better run coming off the corner. And so are those Audi TTs. We now have a three-car battle here for the lead. Between myself, Mr. Drive Fast in the Volkswagen, and then we have Keanu Reeves in the Audi TT. Just running a little bit defensive here, trying to kind of bounce back and forth, and I really give one one of those drivers an advantage over the other with the with the draft. And we dive really late on the brakes into this right-hander, just to make sure we stay out ahead of them. Not too hard here. Don't hit the outside wall. We're good there. And they stay too wide behind. Anyway, oh, we got a really good shunt in the back there from the TT. Draws himself a one-second penalty. Let's see what that looks like here from his point of view. So we're coming in, normally break right around the 50 meter mark. And, ooh man, yeah, he, he went in pretty far there. <laughs> but, back to it here. The Volkswagen uh, got himself a one second penalty somewhere too. Not sure what that was, but that allows me a pretty pretty comfortable cushion here but I still don't want to give up that lead I still want that track position so I just run a little bit of the defensive line going into turn one just enough to hold them off here I'm able to get a pretty good gap there right off of turn one nail these S's and uh, Keanu Reeves just staying right behind us here and it's allowing that second TT to come right into the mix, Mr. Ace-13. 
a little bit of the defensive line here against the kind of keeps the inside locking up that right rear tire. Get a pretty good run off that corner though. Just pull on a little bit as he's going to serve his penalty. We'll zoom uh, zoom ahead here a little bit. It's only a lap and a half to go here. Just trying to mind my P's and Q's, not make any mistakes. Not running 110%, but just enough to stay in front and not enough to where you know, I draw myself a penalty for track limits or something stupid like that. And Just trying to stay out of that slipstream there too. Just uh, doing a little bit of bobbing and weaving as we go <laughs> down the front stretch here. But Let's see if we can't just nail this turn one really well. That was nice and smooth. Still pulling away. Just drag the wall a little bit there on the S's, but not enough to kill too much speed. Hit that next left-hander almost perfect. Heading back down the hill. You can see a really comfortable gap there. So not going to do anything too aggressive here. A little bit of a lockup again on the left rear or on the right rear tire. And I am still for the life of me trying to figure out what happened here on this backstretch. Because I had a 9 tenths of a second lead coming off that corner. And all of a sudden, as soon as we get under the bridge or into this tunnel, right about here, he all of a sudden just pulls 3 tenths of a second on me. And then he's all of a sudden in the draft. Almost even looked like he was looking to the inside there, almost thinking about doing a dive bomb there, but... So just take it really nice and easy going through this last set of corners though again breaking a little bit early uh, going into the chicane using those curbs up just protecting that inside line just to make sure nothing bad happens but boy does it allow that TT Mr. Ace 13 to catch right up to us just pull down the inside here run a defensive line and are we gonna have enough to keep it at the line yes for the win well, thank you for hopping on. Please, uh, if you liked what you saw, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, for more, hopefully more winning. You know, uh, what happened to that Volkswagen? Whatever happened to him anyway? Oh, there it is. Well, thank you once again. Well, as I was saying, hit subscribe, hit like, more content coming your way from the Crazy M80.